What's up, YouTube? This video is brought to you by Weebull. If you'd like to help out the channel and get some free stock, make sure you check out my link below. Hey, I'm Chris Sane, and today's video was about some plays to get ready for next week with, guys. But hey, listen, if I helped you out in any way, whether I was helping you make some money or give you a new perspective on the stock market, please make sure you like and subscribe and join us on the journey. Without further ado, let's take a look at my portfolio. Okay, guys, the first week of the new year is in the books, and I'll be the first one to say it, man. It got off to what is somewhat known as a shaky start, okay? But listen, with that being said, man, I'm just happy to be back in the game, happy to be back in the market doing what we do. You got to know, you got to expect better days, better weeks are on the way. With that being said, I still did my thing overall with options. I want to know what you guys did in some of your plays, okay? Because, like I often say, there's a bull market somewhere. Even though everything was kind of shopping all over the place, there still was opportunities if you knew how to find them and take advantage of them, okay? Again, they might not have been long lived. They might not have been something that lasted a long time, but there were opportunities. And that's what I want to make sure that we hone in on throughout this year, okay? Listen, guys, we're going to go through it real quick on the day not too much to write home about you know what i'm saying but on the week check this out down six percent overall on the week and then my daily motivation down 41 percent at the time of this recording guys i'm gonna show you this each and every video because i want you to see what a true comeback looks like what a true bounce back looks like when you don't panic sell and when you just allow your play that brought you down in the first place to recover and then go up from there okay so make sure you guys lock into this so that you can see what this is like once this fully recovers one thing i wanted to point out guys kicking it off with apple is the fact that not only was the new year started off a little bit rocky the fed news didn't help the minutes the jobs reports didn't help there was a lot of things meaning catalysts that played a role in it but i want you guys to start preparing your mind for these different things more so less news that impacts your play okay check it out man apple it was down three percent on the week okay that's five dollars in the grand scheme of things almost six dollars okay things you want to pay attention to when the big dogs start going down that's noteworthy okay because they on average if they go down at all it's more like in a range of one percent okay so remember i talked about the qqqs or the q's being a, a, a index that will be highly impacted by inflation by rising interest rates and things of that nature and so look right here we got the proof another play i want you guys to be mindful of is nvidia down over three percent on the day this is ticker symbol nvda but it was down nearly eight and a half or over eight and a half percent on the week. Another tall sign, guys, that again, you have to know what's at play. Nothing to panic about, but this is the type of info. This is the type of intel you want to be gathering so that you can see what did well and what didn't do well based on the environment we're in. Now let's look at Cleveland Cliffs. This is our industrial play, okay? This one had a flat day to day. They see the, the algorithm and the manipulation in the market kept a lot of stocks flat on the day. That's another story for another day. But look at this. On the week, it was up five and a half percent, okay? Again, know what's winning, know what's down, but more importantly, know why. And one more for the road ticker symbol BA, otherwise known as Boeing. It was up nearly 2% today. And check this one out. This too was up over 5.5% on the week. Guys, you got to know how to win in this game and you have to know why you're going to win and how to win, okay? It's a marathon. I expect over time, these little nuances will be things you pick up along the journey. That's why you got to tap in each and every day. That's why you have to be in it for the right reasons as well as the long haul because it's a lot to kind of take in so that you can know okay during this season these type of plays are up during this season these type of plays are up while these type of plays will be down very very key information that can make a world of difference especially if you're trying to make money with options and anything else okay a couple plays that should be on your watch list guys 
Palantir, ticker symbol PLTR. This one fell under $17 today. Something I want you to be mindful of, okay? This is not the time to really go and be into these heavy, but this is a time that you can be building your position out. I'll circle back to highlight when they are gonna be ready to fly again, but this is a sector, watch this, down 10%. They're even down more than the apples and the videos, okay? So that means risk off. Nobody's touching these right now because we're gonna let these fall a little bit. One more for you is charge point. This one is sitting at 17. And again, put on your watch list, quietly build your position out on the low, okay? These are not in favor at this point in time, okay? No high momentum play is. Look at this one, down 12%. Don't fret. But understand when it's blood in the streets, it's time to eat. That's when you build your position up, okay? Because once it comes back in season, what you think the stuff is gonna fly will be. It will be these type of plays, okay? It's just a matter of time. You gotta know how to structure yourself how to build things out where your focus needs to be okay listen guys i hope that was helpful up next we have our word of the day and our word of the day is buying power check it out guys your buying power is a very very important component to your investment journey okay whether you're doing options or whether you are trying to have money set aside to purchase stocks okay listen it's very important that if you rock with me you're intentional about paying yourself first. One way that you pay yourself first is by two things. You either should see your buying power increasing because you're committing to a minimum 500 every two weeks or what you can afford, or you're putting it into your Apple or your VTI or your pillar or your core plays, okay? Building that up, okay? You wanna pay yourself first. One way to do that is to make sure your buying power is increasing on a monthly basis or a bi-weekly basis if you're able to do so, okay? Don't abandon, again, investing in yourself and building it up. It helps your total overall portfolio growth, but it also gets you in the habit of a winner. It gets you in the habit of a, of a millionaire mindset in terms of knowing that you got an abundance that you are building towards okay i want you guys to not overlook or neglect that step on this journey because i'm going to harp on it several times throughout this year about the importance of building up your dry powder aka your buying power listen guys i hope that was helpful we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll see you all in the next one